Morgan, I ask that all of us, especially Claire and Shane, take a deep breath, look around, and savor this very memorable moment. There will never again be a moment quite like this one in your lives. Look around at the wonderful company of friends and family members who join in this celebration today. For as their presence for your wedding is a blessing to you, so is your expression of love for one another a blessing to all who are gathered here. At the same time, we recognize that there are special people in your lives who are not with us today. While they are not visibly here with us, we know that they join all of us in the joy of this moment. Claire and Shane met in 2016 at band camp through Stony Brook University's marching band. You know what they say, one time at band camp will change your life forever. Claire and Shane started hanging out one night and they have been inseparable ever since. Fast forward to the proposal. Shane proposed to Claire in 2022. Shane planned a trip to the Shenandoah Mountains in Virginia during a school break. During the trip, a day was planned to take a mountain drive to various lookouts in the Shenandoah National Park. While Shane was nervous, he found the perfect spot. He stopped the car and asked Claire to take their dog Pepper on a walk to look at the view. Shane propped the phone on top of the car and began to record. At the edge of the mountain overlook, Shane took to one knee and popped the question. The moment was a total surprise to Claire, which was a success. Claire happily said yes. It is Claire and Shane's belief that the true art of married life is an inner spiritual journey. That it is a mutual enrichment, a give and take between two personalities, a mingling of two endowments which diminish neither but enhances both. Claire and Shane, you are aware that making this relationship work takes more than love. It takes trust to know in your hearts that you want only the best for each other. It takes commitment to the growth of the union. It takes dedication to stay open to one another and to learn and grow even when it is difficult to do so. And it takes faith to go forward together without knowing what the future holds for you both. Remember to treat both yourselves and each other with respect and remind yourselves often of what brought you together. Give the highest priority to the tenderness, gentleness, and kindness that your connection deserves. This is a moment of celebration. Let it also be a moment of dedication. Individuals are fragile and relationships are fragile too. Every marriage needs the love, nurturance, and support of a network of friends and family. On this day, I ask those gathered here, not only to be friends of Claire or Shane, but friends of Claire and Shane together, friends of their relationship. We now invite Shane's Aunt Kristen to read Gifts from the Sea by Anna Morrow Lindbergh. Do you have it with you? Good job. Are you good with that? Come right up. Thank you. You're welcome. Does this feel good, good. for you? Yep. Okay. A good relationship has a pattern like a, like a dance and is built on some of the same rules. 
The partners do not need to hold on tightly because they move confidently in the same pattern, intricate but gay and swift and free, like a country dance of Mozart's. To touch heavenly would be to arrest the pattern and freeze the movement to check the endlessly changing beauty of its unfolding. There is no place here for the possessive clutch, the clinging arm, the heavy hand, only the barest touch in passing. Now arm in arm, now face to face, now back to back. It does not matter which because they know they are partners moving to the same rhythm, creating a pattern together and being invisibly nourished by it. Thank you, Aunt Kristen. That was beautiful. We now would like to invite Claire's brother-in-law, Dan, to read An Irish Blessing. You got it? An Irish blessing. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sunshine warm upon your face, the rains fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. May God be with you and bless you. May you see your children's children. May you be poor in misfortune, rich in blessings. May you know nothing but happiness from this day forward. May the rose ride to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the warm rays of sun fall upon your home. And may the hand of a friend always be near. May green be the grass you walk on. May blue be the skies above you. May pure be the joys that surround you. And may true be the hearts that love you. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. When I asked Claire and Shane what marriage means to them, they said marriage means being there in every moment. It means never giving up, no matter how hard the times may get. Marriage is about the highs, the lows, the good, and the bad. The piñas and the coladas. <laughs> Claire admires Shane's thoughtfulness and ability to always make her laugh. He is her rock and a constant source of calm. Shane appreciates Claire's never-ending support in the pursuit of his dreams. He appreciates that Claire always works tirelessly to make him smile every day. Claire and Shane strongly believe in one another their love and their future together as a married couple. They look forward to many more years together doing the things they love, like spending time with their baby, uh, Pepper, <laughs> who, who they adopted in June of 2022. They look forward to traveling, attending concerts, sporting events, and visiting breweries in their free time as well as playing the instruments they played at Stony Brook University. Shane plays the tuba, and Claire plays the alto sax. Claire and Shane go back frequently to participate in their homecoming events. <clears throat> now, Shane and Claire, please look into each other's eyes as you state your intent. Shane and Claire, do you promise to love and encourage each other, share the good times and achievements, as well as the hard times and disappointments, and keep each other in sickness and in health, and to be loyal to each other from this day forward? We do. We do. It is with these expressions of love that we will proceed to your vows. Shane, you're going first. Please state your vows 
as you look into Claire's eyes. I'm going to hold the book. Claire, from the moment our paths crossed at Stony Brook, I knew my life had found its missing piece. Today, surrounded by our friends and family, I stand with you, ready to continue this adventure together. I vow to cherish and adore you every day, to support and encourage you in all of your endeavors. I promise to listen to your dream stories, even the ones where you're mad at me. To laugh with you in times of joy and to hold you close in the rest. I pledge to be your partner in all things, to be faithful and true through every twist and turn that we may encounter. With you, I have found comfort, my confidant, and my best friend. I love you, Claire, and I choose you today and every day. Yeah, now you have to go. I, I mean, I still have the one in my pocket. I don't cry. Sweet. We're going to turn this to you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, you can hold on to this for her. Thank yep. you. We'll, we'll pick up. Take your time. <laughs> Shane, it's hard to believe that seven and a half years ago, we were just two kids at Stony Brook who met through our love of music. The countless days and nights spent on the band field and the trips for pizza at the sack in between classes was just a start for us. You're my best friend, the love of my life, my karaoke partner, personal driver, and the other half of Beer Couple NJ. I love that you make me laugh so hard, sometimes I start crying. I love that you always kiss me goodbye every morning and say I love you every night. And I love that you're the most caring and compassionate man I know. I promise to always show up for us on our good days and bad. I promise to always belt out the Foo Fighters with you every time we hear them on the radio. I promise to support you and be right by your side with everything that you do. And I hope that one day we can expand our family so Pepper can have a brother and sister because I know you'll be an amazing dad. <laughs> I once heard home is not a place. It's somewhere where you feel safe, loved, protected, and can unapologetically be yourself. To me, home is a person, and you, Shane Matthew, are my home. Today, I choose you, I choose us, and I will continue to choose us every day for the rest of our lives. I love you. Oh, she did a great job. She did a great job. No kissing yet. Wait, hold on, hold on. <laughs> it is with these wonderful and beautiful expressions of love that we will now come to the presentation of rings. Brendan, may we have the rings, please? We'll take this and there you go. There you go. Thank you. <clears throat> he, did he did it. He did it. He did a good job. He's a good job. And he signed the list. He's good. <clears throat> On this day, you have not only committed to each other, but to this beautiful new family unit. Your rings are a reminder, a circle, the symbol of endlessness. Once the circle is complete, it has no beginning and no end. It represents the continuity of life as you are joined together to form a circle of your new life. Shane, please take this ring and place it on Claire's left hand ring finger and repeat after me. Thank you. Claire, I give to you my promise. Claire, I give to you my promise. That from this day forward. That from this day forward. You shall not walk alone. You shall not walk alone. May my heart be your shelter. May my heart be your shelter. And my arms be your home. And my arms be your home. May we walk together through all things. May we walk together through all things. 
May you feel deeply loved. May you feel deeply loved. For indeed you are. For indeed you are. I feel so honored to be your husband. I feel so honored to be your husband. I feel so blessed to call you mine. I feel so blessed to call you mine. Claire, please take Shane's left hand ring finger, place the ring on his finger, and repeat after me. Just shove it on there. Shane, I give to you my promise. Shane, I give to you my promise. That from this day forward. That from this day forward. You shall not walk alone. You shall not walk alone. May my heart be your shelter. May my heart be your shelter. And my arms be your home. And my arms be your home. May we walk together. May we walk together through, through all things. May you feel deeply loved. May you feel deeply loved. For indeed. indeed you are. I feel so honored to be your wife. I feel so honored to be your wife. I feel so blessed to call you mine. I feel so blessed to call you mine. Jane and Claire, may you love deeply, laugh heartily, practice patience, and smile often. May you dream together, grow, give, give in, and trust enough to take. May you see many sunrises, listen to the rain, savor those special moments, and thank you for this new mic. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Very well written. <laughs> May you see many sunrises, listen to the rain, savor these special moments, and continue to discover each other's most lovable quality. May you have health, happiness, a sense of humor, and a lifetime of rich adventure. May your house be a place of happiness for all who enter it a place where the old and the young are renewed in each other's company, a place for growing, a place for music, a place for laughter, and may no person be alien to your compassion. May your larger family be the family of all humankind, and may those who are nearest to you and dearest to you be constantly enriched by the beauty and bounty of your love for each other. I believe in the power of your agreement this day and the look of love in your eyes and the seriousness with which you make this commitment. And I believe my faith is shared by the others gathered here. Therefore, by the power vested in me by the state of New Jersey, Claire and Shane, it is my honor and pure joy to now pronounce you husband and wife. Shane, you may kiss your beautiful <laughs> <laughs>